joined by Barmy Army Captain Lauren Winfield Hill alongside Kavisha Kamari. Uh, Lauren, not the result you wanted today, but what was it like to get out there for your first game at the helm of the Barmy Army side? Yeah, it was good. I think, you know, we, we didn't get the result we came for, but I think there's so many positives to take from, from that game today. I think we were just slightly short with the bat, but we showed, you know, lots of really good qualities in the second innings with with taking six wickets. I thought we fielded really well. Um, yeah, and loads of positives to, to sort of take forward. And Kavisha, impressive performance from you today. Um, they can't see it on the film, but awarded a box of <laughs> lovely biscuits that we're all eyeing up <laughs> by your coach and side. What was it like for you returning to Fairbreak today? It's wonderful, always being part of Fairbreak and getting this opportunity. It's always nice to be back. And Lauren, what's it like for you to join up with the Fairbreak family? Yeah, it's been awesome. You know, we've we've gelled really nicely as a group. We've, you know, we've only had a couple of training sessions, but I think the way we came out and came together today, um, you know, it's sort of like you've you've spent a couple of weeks together and it's only been a couple of days. So it's great. It's it's great to learn about new people, new players, share experiences. Um, I think this is that's what this opportunity is all about. Um, and it you know it's great to unearth some some talent from from various countries. And we saw some monster hitting from you today. How good did it feel to launch some of those sixes? Yeah, it was it was a tricky wicket actually. It was sort of just been really decisive on when they missed their length and went too full was to, to sort of just give it full mashings and, and thankfully a, f a few came out of the screws. But um, yeah, I'd have liked to have, have made a bigger contribution, but I was pleased with sort of getting the team off to a good start. There was a moment we were worried for the clock on the pavilion, whether it was just going to be shattered. Um, but Kavisha, obviously you know Mahika pretty well. Um, how impressive was she today also for the spirit? She played really well. The way she was bowling, she was picking up the, she was utilizing the pitch a lot. And if you notice, it was a funky wicket today. Like there were a bit of odd bounces and some were just staying and coming. It was like a spongy wicket and she took the full advantage of it. And Lauren, obviously you watched Fair Break last year and saw some of these rising stars that you don't necessarily get to play against. What's it like to get here and sort of see people you might not have any particular gauge on yet? Yeah, I said to Michael Bates, our coach, after our first training session, I said, there's so much talent here. You know, we're, we're so excited about this, this Barmy Army group. I think, you know, like I said, we've got some, some great depth with our bowling and with our batting. And it's always nice to see, you know, new faces, people that you haven't seen before, you know, like Kavi played beautifully today, under high pressure as well, um, obviously with a couple of wickets down, but yeah, from the moment I arrived, I, you know, I said to, to Batesy that there's some, some massive talent here and it's always nice to see. Yeah, and I think we have a few questions from the floor. Uh, guys, um, hi, this is Gomesh from India, first, um, hard luck on the result today. Hi, Lauren, how are you? Uh, uh, First, I was being in this tournament, uh, and um, what I wanted to ask specifically is the way you hit through the line, you know, against Mike, uh, how were you approaching her? Because there were some that were swinging away, there were some that was bouncing a bit extra. So what was the, the kind of approach that you were trying to, uh, you know, take on to her? Yeah, I was just trying to, um, I think when you bowled a really hard length on that surface, it just sort of jumped off the off the pitch a little bit so it was probably about respecting those good balls and then anything that was sort of over pitched um, I was going to look to to fully commit to and, and hit down the ground and you know it was it was one of them surfaces where you almost have to decide which one you want to go after and and which one you want to you know just just respect really so that was my plan as soon as she missed her length I was looking to capitalize and you know thankfully I got a few out of the screws which was which was nice. How long have you been waiting to hit hit such a start? You have not got a lot of opportunity to get on the field lately. So how long have you been waiting to you know play the shots on the field? Yeah, I think you you prepare all the time to put and be ready to play. And I think obviously when you get the opportunity, I think that's the beauty of women's cricket now is there's games all year round in in various competitions. So even if you're not getting go internationally there's there's plenty of cricket out there to be played so I think that's the beauty of it you never you never go too long without a game um, and like I said I've always been preparing as if I was going to play so I, I, I sort of constantly feel ready when I get that opportunity just one last from me uh, 
last month you were commentating in the WPL and uh, you know now you are playing now. So how has been that you know mix of experience uh, between commentating and playing? Yeah, I mean it's one of those things, isn't it? Where you'd obviously rather be playing, but if you can't play, you you may as well talk about it. So. Um, it was a great experience. It was a fantastic competition to be involved in one way or another. Um, you know, I love the game. I love sort of studying the game, talking about the game. So um, it's actually a really good way to constantly keep learning, I think, is is to watch games unfold and passages of play. And, um, yeah, I, th I really enjoy the, the sort of contrast between the commentary stuff and playing. And it, I feel like it always keeps my brain sort of engaged in problem solving and tactics and things like that so it was a really cool experience to to do that and and obviously then quickly get the opportunity to to play some games as well